Well, hello everybody. It's Friday. We got aircraft flying around. Uh, we might hear some more because they're having a uh, fly-in at the uh, Ranger Airport, which from here where I'm at is about uh, oh eight miles away. And they, it, it's a cool thing. They've got all sorts of antique aircraft. They're going to have flight demonstration and aerobatics. So it's a uh, Pretty cool deal. I think my wife and I'll probably go out there. I grew up with airplanes. Of course, we were in the Air Force and I flew. Uh, so planes are kind of a part of my life and our life. But I wanted to show you also uh, my t-shirt. You might have seen it. Uh, my cast to the right side t-shirt. Uh, I can't really get it into focus real well, but I am wearing it. And uh, it gets some comments. Uh, what is this cast to the right side? So it gives me an opportunity to uh, share the gospel, to share the love of Jesus. And you know, people need it. I need it every day. I need to know that I'm building up my relationship with God and he is proud of me as his son. Oh, praise the Lord. Now, I'm trying to make this a short uh, dialogue today, sharing with you. And I'm sharing what I did this morning for my devotions. Now, the other day on Wednesday, we talked about... I believe it was, let me see, oh, if I can remember, come on, mind. Basically, the fool has said there is no God. The fool has said there is no God. Well, folks, let's face it. Without God, everything would fall apart he made the world i mean we we have people that are claiming they can change the weather by making electric vehicles and turbine generators and i'll just tell you something i don't get it with the turbine generators i took a different road home the other day i was up in abilene texas and I took a different road home and I went through a large turbine, I'll call it wind farm. I think that's what they call it. And as I'm going through there, there was probably, I'm, I'm going to estimate only, 40 or maybe even 50 turbine windmills, not one of them was moving. In other words, they're just standing out there doing nothing. The other interesting thing is, have you ever considered the cost of an electric vehicle? I was in getting some service done on my Nissan Frontier truck. And while I was there, it's a Ford dealership. It's here in my local town, and they do some great work. In fact, I bought my truck from them. And they had a new electronic Mustang. Sticker price, $77,000. Mileage that you'll get for one charge, 260 miles. Now, I did a little estimation looking at a, another dealership that was offering a Ford F-150. The uh, sticker price was like right around $61,000 or $62,000. Yeah, $61,000, $62,000. They were given about a $12,000 discount, so it pushed it down to around $52,000 plus the tax, plus the license, et cetera. You got done, 8.1% financing, and a payment for 72 months 
you know, 72 months, that's like uh, six years, of $1,100 a month. That's just short of what I pay for my house payment. So what I want you to understand is God has better plans for us than what we're seeing ram down our throat. Be aware, folks. Be aware of what's going on. And let your voice be heard. Now, yes, Psalm 14 is what we did the other day. Psalm 14, 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Oh, now let's tie in with the EV on this one. They are corrupt. They have done a of works. There is none that does good. We need some changes, folks, in the minds and the hearts of man. And the only place it comes from is God. Now, two Psalms later. This is what David says in Psalm 16. Hold on. Preserve me. It can also mean in Hebrew, watch over me, O God, for in you I put my trust. For in you I put my trust because I want you to watch over me. The fool says there's no God. I'm not a fool. I know there is a God, and I will put my trust in you that you will watch over me and take care of me. It doesn't mean that perhaps I won't have some difficult times, just as David did, just as all of us do. But just as David, I put my trust in God. And I have seen how he has taken me out of different situations, even preserving my life. I can go back to six events in my life, starting when I was about four to five years old, where God has literally protected my life. Let's continue on. In verse 2, David says, Oh, my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. In other words, saying his own goodness, his own, our personal goodness is nothing when we're apart from God. There's a scripture reference that there is no good but God. God is the author of all goodness and he gives it to us when we are his sons and daughters to share with others, to be blessed by. Let's go a little bit farther. In verse 8, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. In verse 9, Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. Hope is what God gives us. He has provided all the things that we need to move forward. We can look and see that Jesus shared those same things. He says here, In John 9, 35. Do you believe in the Son of God? Do you believe in the Son of God? Then Jesus goes on. He's having a conversation with a man who was born blind. 
And he asked him the question, Do you believe in the Son of God? And the man answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You have both seen him, and it is he who is talking to you. Jesus is not here on the earth today. But as we read these testimonies, as we read the words of David and the other apostles, the other prophets, we are hearing what they heard by reading it. Because the Word of God is an inspiration brought by the Holy Spirit. And when you have received God, who sealed you to protect you until you were ready, willing, and desiring the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's a secondary measure. But when that comes, you receive new knowledge and power to go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. There's some revelation that I just received reading and studying that I think I'm going to share with you. It'll be a long, a long broadcast because it's a pretty extensive teaching, but I want you to understand what you have when you proclaim Watch over me, O God, for in you I put my trust. And I'll close with this. When Jesus told his disciples that he was leaving, and, and they didn't fully understand it, but he said, I'm leaving someone with you. Not a thing, not an it, but a someone who is just like me. And it's the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit, that active part of the Holy Spirit of God who comes now and will reside with us, in us, and fill us, and clothe us. A clothing is a covering. That's what Jesus left for us. They talk about mantles sometimes, and a mantle can sometimes be considered like a, a shawl or, uh, you know, you can wear it over your shoulders. But I think about sometimes as a mantle also, the mantle of Jesus, he had a special clothing that he was made when, when he was crucified the soldiers looked at it and said, wow, this is really different. The way it's put together was different. Well, you know, I'd like that covering over me to be clothed in that covering that is different. But you know, I believe that comes forth when I can share and testify and act just the way Jesus would have me to act because I'm listening to the Holy Spirit and then I am fulfilling what he asked me to do. So I'm going to leave this with you for Friday. Think upon these words that I've shared with you today that you have all of your hope, all of your future, is tied up in the fact that God has given you the gift of life, eternal life, by your faith and your belief and your receiving of Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And for anybody that's listening to this, and you have not fully done that or you have questions please send me an email make a comment send me an email and I'll be in touch with you to share personally with you 
or give you guidance and direction that you might need. So this is Douglas Allen Frazier closing out a fantastic Friday here in Eastland, Texas. My wife and I will be going to the Eastland Mavericks High School football game tonight. Uh, we have season tickets for that, and they're playing at home. So we're going to do that. So I hope you have a blessed weekend. Make this a day that will be a fulfillment of what you're looking for. A day when you can proclaim, yes, just as Thomas did, you are my Lord. You are my God. You are my Savior. We will see you on Monday with Cast to the Right Side.